this is how my voice normally sounds. And this is how my voice sounds once I apply this trick that I'm about to show you right now. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I've actually converted all of my Premiere Pro effects packs into After Effects effects packs. So basically they run like 10 times smoother. I'm also calling, I'm talking about a one-on-one -on -one video or voice call, the first 50 people that purchase this new After Effects bundle. Click the link in the description before it's too late. Let's get into the video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you one thing very quickly, how to make your voice sound cinematic. My dear, I don't want to fight you. First things first, with my voice, let's listen to it real quick in the timeline. Called Will It Work, a show where we test out templates to see if they're as good as they say that they are. What I can already tell just by listening to my voice is that it sounds really quiet. I'm gonna need to bump that volume up. Instead of actually going into effects controls and bumping up the volume on that specific clip, I'm gonna do something special. I'm going to apply an effect to the actual track. That's something that's probably new to you. Whether you're talking about video clips or audio clips, you're probably used to adding or affecting an effect on a specific clip. But if you apply an effect to an entire track, what you end up doing is actually affecting all of the clips on that track. So it makes editing audio crazy easier. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you're gonna to go to is the audio track mixer. This is not to be confused with the audio clip mixer. If you can't see the audio track mixer tab, go to window, then go to audio track mixer and then click on the specific sequence that you wanna add it to. I'm currently in sequence two. Now, go over to the left hand side and click on the carrot that says show hide effects and sends. Then you're going to pick the track that you wanna add this effect to. This track that I'm working with is A2. This is the track that has my mic audio. I'm speaking into a mic. This A1 track has the in camera audio which I actually don't wanna to listen to, and that's why this track is muted. So, A2. Let's go and apply an effect to track A2. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the tracks that each of these columns are associated with. A2 stands for audio two. Let's go in, click the drop down, then click amplitude and compression, then go to multi-band compressor. Double click on this effect. Go to presets, click on the broadcast preset. Now go to margin, type a negative three, and then you're going to increase your gain just a little bit until your volume level averages at around negative three. Let's play through it. This is a show called Will It Work? Right now it's averaging around negative nine, a show where we test out templates to see if they're as good as they say that they are. A huge plus when I check out a template is if the template doesn't look, there we go. So I added a gain of about seven decibels and that bumped my audio up to an average volume of negative three. Now we're gonna close this. Listen closely to this next segment because throughout the whole thing, I'm gonna be using that cinematic voice effect. Hey guys, just a random plug. You may have seen this laptop effect that I always put in like all my tutorials. Well, this is like one of several laptop screens and television screens that are actually part of that After Effects bundle that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. You can literally put your own footage in this effect. It freaking makes your edit look so beautiful. Another cool pack that I really like in the After Effects bundle is ePRISM. These are basically digital lens filters that look so, so freaking beautiful. They freaking take your footage from looking okay to absolutely magnificent. I freaking love them and I use them all the time. Guys, I cannot wait to have that video call with you, just one-on-one, -on -one, you and me. Click the link in the description and let's get to chatting.